Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing episode one of The Walking Dead, the final season. This is the fourth game in the Telltale Walking Dead series, and I've played the previous three seasons, so I figured I might as well wrap it up and check out this one as well. I've been playing this series on the channel for like five years or something like that, dating back to the first season of The Walking Dead. I'm freaked out right now, Clem. How you doing, babe? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Wow! Followed by the second season. Hey, you don't need it all. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And most recently, the third season, New Frontier. You do not want to be high when zombies are around. No, no, I'm not, fuck, I'm driving. No. So, I just loaded up the final season. I'm sorry I wasn't prepared to record when it was doing the little introductory cutscene. It was just Clementine basically reflecting back on what had happened in the previous seasons. If you haven't seen the first three seasons, you might want to start there, either by playing them on your own or I have playlists for all of them. Some of the videos are really old, so I sound a bit different and I've, have a bit of a different personality in them, but um, anyway, we're gonna be reviewing the choices that we made in the first two games, at least, apparently. So I'm excited to do that. In the first season of The Walking Dead, I saved Doug. If I could go back, I'd probably save Carly, but the reason that I saved Doug was I thought that he would be more useful than he ended up being, and also because I figured most people on YouTube would save Carly because girl and Doug was kind of dopey. I didn't see him being a more popular choice. So I wanted to have like a, a path less walked in my videos. So I saved Doug. We'll, we'll choose that one. You can never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. Is this a Lily? A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. We left Lily behind. We let her stay with us. I think we let her stay with us. Because I remember getting a lot of shit for this decision. I'm also going to say this now. If you're going to try to guilt me about any choices I make in this game, you can go ahead and fuck off right now. It's not what I'm here for. I'm here just to have fun, make choices make my own path in the game. Not looking to get the best ending. These choices don't matter anyway. I just pick whichever one I like more and I have my own reasons for them. We can disagree, but don't guilt me about it. Thank you. This is a, something I have to say for every choice game because people take it way too seriously. Uh, we let her stay with us. Lee showed her kindness, but she took advantage of it later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she stole Lee the RV. Me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Let's see, what did I say? Always keep moving, stay away from cities, keep your hair short. I honestly can't remember what I said. <laughs> Here, stay away from cities, I didn't say that. I either said keep your hair short or always keep moving. I think I said always keep moving. I don't know. And always keep moving. As much as you can. Ooh. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. What was my final request? Click to continue. Oh. He told always me keep to moving. leave him. I did and leave I did. him. I did leave him, because I thought... I met another group after that. Saving the bullet broken people would come in handy. from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ. He made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, 
I had to make the call. <sighs> Here comes the most unfun choice in the entire series. I did shoot Kenny. Had my reasons for it. I know that it's basically canon at this point that Jane dies because Kenny had much better endings in the second season. But I did shoot Kenny. And I still stand by it. And everyone can fuck off. Thanks. I stopped Kenny. Finally gave him peace. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done. Mm-hmm. I still decided we were better together. Yeah. For AJ's sake. But like everything else, it wouldn't last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. And I think it's automatically... I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. I guess it automatically went through that choice because I imported my new frontier save. Anyway, Walking Dead final season. I'm not expecting much because I didn't like New Frontier. I didn't like the third season, but I feel like I kind of owe it to myself and to everyone on this channel to see this through. I just want to see Clementine's story come to an end. Smack. Oh. Car. <laughs> Gameplay. Use S to adjust the rear view mirror. Let's take a look at AJ. He's playing with a gun. What you doing there, goofball? And then we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. But I like goofball. What about shitbird? What? Oh, I've always called you goofball. It's time for you to stop. It's Alvin Jr. AJ still work? AJ still works. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Hey, you want some old chips? Some old stale potato chips? <laughs> Give magazine. Give toy. Big choice here. Why would I give him a, a magazine of food if he's hungry? Let's give him the toy. Hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? I like so good. <laughs> Come on, Clem. I can't eat a toy. Oh man. My feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Sassy. Do I have to give him the magazine too? Oh, so it's not a choice. Here, practice your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Pre 
heat oven place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy uh, on second thought never mind that's only gonna make you hungrier yeah I was way ahead of you there let's give him the, the crappy chip bag here you go about all we got crumbs what about you go for it we'll find something else soon I believe you Okay. Not much for me to comment on so far. Except that AJ can talk now. Clem's driving, but she doesn't look like she's that much older than she was in New Frontier. So I, I don't know how much time has passed. I'm guessing like five years? I mean, if the kid's talking that well and can read, how old is that kid? Five at this point? How old was he in New Frontier? Like, still baby. Couldn't even walk, right? Or is my memory fuzzy? Maybe it hasn't been that long. I have a couple questions. Are we gonna run into Krista ever again? Because she just kind of disappeared in the second game. We Are we gonna it. run into Lily? Because maybe so. specified the choice. Looks clear. We're doing it. Friendly, ring bell. Hmm. AKA, shoot here. Grab pry bar. Look at toy. Okay, let's look at toy. Oh, it's got a bullet hole in it. I'm assuming that's what that is. Uh, we're gonna need to grab this pry bar. Thank you. We need a weapon. Doesn't mean you can't take the canteen too. You have pry bar, in case something gets in our way. Water <laughs> too. That is what it's for. Uh, is there anything else to click on? Okay, we're gonna back out. Sorry, my nose itched. Find right. food. Let's find some food. Okay. Let's go look for some. I doubt there's any in the concrete. Use the mouse to look around. Oh, it's... This is kind of weird. It's like behind the back third person. Have they done this before? Not like this. I wonder if it means anything. AJ, stay back. Is there gonna be combat? No way. No way! Is there gonna be combat? E to stun or Q to kill. Okay, it's just quick time events. That's fine. It's down. Still with me? I just thought it was gonna be Still different. Here. No bites. Next, we get in there. I do like this perspective, though. It's interesting. It's it's at least deviating from the formula they've, formula they've had for a couple seasons now, even a tiny bit, which I'm happy about. What you want to swing? Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun? You get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Do I not have subtitles on? Oh, sorry guys, oh, I'll try to fix that. I wanna try. After we clear this place. Sorry about that, I'll try to fix that right quick. All right, the subtitles are on now. Sorry about that. They're usually automatically on, I thought. I guess 
I thought wrong. We can go around back. There's a skull back here? Hmm, interesting. Cool. You've collected deer skull. Possible hood ornament. What? Maybe we'll have to look like intimidating at some point. We'll have to use it. Did the zombie have anything on him? Check his pockets. Is there something in his eye? Oh, that's just fleshy bits. Examine the barrel, AKA trash can. It's just muck in there. Gross. <gasps> Look at garden, there's a garden. Whoever used to grow things here is long gone. Oh. I hear walking. I thought I heard something in the woods. Don't like that. Let's open the door. Pry open door. Yeah, because we bought we brought the pry bar. I can QTE with the best of them. Let's do this. I press those buttons. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh come on, you remember. We inside a new place? What am I talking for we AJ? Always... Uh check the windows? That's right. It is? Oh, okay. AJ is always listening. What does that mean? You talk shit about me? They're tied up. That's not good. Huh. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? You can check the windows first, huh? No, they can't. Hmm. Your windows are all boarded up. Your choice is to determine what he will become? This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Enter ticket booth! <laughs> too small to crawl through. Well, for me. Don't send See Alvin anything? in there. Looks like some cans could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? Let's look around. Let's be smart. Yeah. That's right. That's right, kid. You're not so bad. Not like Gabe in the last season. Blah. Beans. <gasps> Homemade. Are they canned Anymore properly? Where this came from. Oh, jar of beans. Promising. I like the little commentary next to the item. They ate well. Promising. For their last meal. Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, let's check on AJ. Oh. Okay, so he's hungry. I got it. Is there anything back here? Huh? Is there any reason at all to go back here? Use water fountain. What are these names? From Atlanta to Savannah. Okay. So it's just different destinations, right? Wouldn't be that easy, would it? Well, uh, water's off. Okay. I imagine it's been so many years now, there's no running water. Look at Walker Couple. Do they have anything on them? Do you have- <gasps> A key! We got this open at the lock. <gasps> That's 
not happening. Do I have to wait until his hand moves? I just... You got a pry bar, just smash their heads in. Inspect poison? Oh, they took poison. Poison. Did they give up? They did give up, they I think. Wanted to leave this world together. Holding hands in their own home. Well, Will we have a home? They probably want to be put out we'll of their see. misery. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. You wanted to be zombies? Nobody wants to be zombies. But we need that key. The key or the window. Those are our options. Well, we can respect their wishes it's dark in there. and go for the window, but we're putting AJ at risk. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? <sighs> AJ, I need your help. We need to teach him the right lessons. In there? We need to know if there's food inside. He also has to be a little independent. And I need you to be brave. You age really fast okay, in this world. I can be brave. Clementine wasn't much older than him when she was Lift me up. destroying monsters. Once you're through, unlock this door. Got it. There's a zombie isn't in there, isn't it? Or one in the next room, right? We're not gonna hear anything. It's gonna be well past time. AJ. I was about to say, if they're gonna make me kill them anyway to get the key. You gotta see this clone. <laughs> That's a very telltale thing to do. Huh. They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. That's no true. No one's ever anywhere. And there's a garden. It's always just monsters. I'm here. I'm here, kiddo. I know. I know. Are you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean. I know what you mean, dude. Just a few. AJ's a great you know shot. What we said. How do you know this? Save the last bullet for yourself. Always aim for the Always head. Always aim for the head. Okay. That's right. So the last bullet for yourself is kind of dark. Come on, let's keep looking. There's got to be something we can eat. Hope so. Okay. Find food. I'm looking. <laughs> Stop trying to guilt me. Didn't we just find beans? I mean, I guess we got to find more, right? Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. Eh, who cares about swearing? You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Let him be a kid. Look. He's in a post-apocalyptic setting. Huh. Everybody's gotta grow up really fast around here. Something under here. Oh, am I am I doing this? Gameplay. Floor door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. Press the Q button repeatedly. Oh, uh, what? There's a lot of stuff down there. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. Time for someone else to show up. <gasps> it's rigged. That's going to alert every zombie within miles. And it just blew AJ. up all the stuff. It just blew up all the stuff. 
We can't catch a break. Uh, we heard that. The zombies are always listening. Why not open up? Well, open it up and go it back down there and hide it out. Just wait it out down there. It's not like they can get in. They'll give up eventually and leave, and you guys have got tons of food to eat down there. You know what to do. Stick to the side. I mean, there could be other traps. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, light of him to wait. He was waiting his turn. Over here. Oh, nice. Q, Q, Q. I was pressing it. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? The Q prompt came up like momentarily. It was like. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I guess I moved out of its range. So I tried to move back into range and then I instantly died. Okay, what? Press E like now? Okay, we're back on track. There we go. Over here. Oh, now I got it. Let's get to the car. Okay. Good job, Clem. AJ, enter the knife. I guess that works too. Don't lodge your keys in there. Do you not have your keys? Oh wait, release the brake, thank you. Sorry, do you have AJ tattooed on your hand? Ooh, get him! I'll fish him off. What I but I press left for you to swerve. It registered too. Took him? Oh, you guys have no idea who you just messed with. Hoo hoo, you have no idea who you just messed with. Hmm. Don't give me some cheeky credits now. Yeah, are you ready for this roller coaster ride? Here's the credits. You're like five minutes into the game, and all of a sudden, 
we've given you this adrenaline rush. And now, credits. the aesthetic and all the like uh, the two colors that they've used here interesting I wonder what they represent hmm okay well we're just gonna kill all these guys get AJ back wait unless they rescued us Oh, these guys always have like a compound or something. PJ, are we handcuffed? Well, you should be able to wiggle out of that. Oh, it's just tape. Oh, in case I died and turned into a zombie, I assume is what that was for. What is this place? Hmm. Okay. Colored pencils here. I could take that as a good sign. There's a first aid kit there. So it looks like my head injury is healing up. Look at bars. Where the hell am I? I don't know. Did they install the bars themselves? Could be a prison. Hmm. Memories, siblings, family, BFFs. Two bunk beds. We're not just in someone's home, are we? Where are those kids now? I'm guessing maybe they're older? Maybe they're who kidnapped us. Shit. Locked me in. ESCAPE! <laughs> I like how it pops up in all caps. Open closet. What's in here? Probably nothing useful, I would imagine. What's in there? Examine box. Come on, Clem. Hoist yourself up. Not that difficult. Oh, we gotta find something to stand on. You're a survivor. I guess she's kind of weak after the accident, though. Should turn the chair around so you could just get up on it right now. will do. Huh, <laughs> hiding it in a box with unicorns on it. Palette knife, sharp enough. I'm guessing we're gonna want to use this to pick the lock. Is that the idea? That S. That S in Erickson Strong. Oh man, that was on like every 15 year old's binder when I was growing up. It says, fuck you. I see other stuff like, fuck off. And what does it say? 
damn shit. Fucking shit. Oh, well, this video is demonetized because I just said all that stuff. Uh, let's go this way. Look at debris. Nothing over here. I make the rules now. You suck. What? I heard something. Piss off, eat shit. Stuart was here. Hi, Stuart. We are Erickson. Monster killers. Justin fucked a walker. That's sick. Gross. Ew. Somebody wrote, hate this place. It got crossed out, and somebody wrote, weakling. Ass. <laughs> Okay, so we got some edgy shitlords here. Anarchy. Oh, my room, my rules. They misspelled rules. So are we gonna have to convince AJ that these people are edgy, no good? Erickson versus the dead world. Are they kids? Is it like a bunch of kids that have grown up in the apocalypse that have banded together to make an organization? That's strange. That's a little different, because we've previously only dealt with adults. No more rules. Huh. Somebody wrote, fuck Erickson, and they got crossed out. That's a kid. It is kids. Gang of hoodlums. Disarm him. Drop the knife. Now. You do the same. Okay, Robin Hood. He'll remember. We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. If you want to see him again, you'll drop that knife. Now. I'm not fucking around. Let him go. Or I let go. See how good of a shot I am. It's not like we have a choice anyway. I'll just drop it. Get some good, good cred. Your turn. Good. That's good. <laughs> see? All good here. Hi there, Rufio. Look, nice haircut. If we wanted to hurt you, we would have by now. Considering the circumstances, I'll let this little standoff slide. But you only get one strike. Now, you're gonna behave so I can take you to see your boy? Because if you really want to fight, you're a little outnumbered. Okay. Take me to- AJ's okay? Take me to him, now. Jesus. You don't bend, do you? All right. Since you asked so nicely. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in a pretty rough shape when we found you. You had to take precautions, you know, just in case. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. I'm Marlon, that's Tennessee, and uh, call him Ten for short. Oh. He's one bit taking care of you. He uh, doesn't talk much. I feel bad now. Clementine. But how was I supposed to know? Come on, let's go see your boy. Like, he drew a weapon, I just didn't know, you know? Seems really timid. Sorry, dude. I wonder if he's gonna be the romance option. <laughs> For this season. Yeah. Well, seems a little timid to be someone who's like a member of a badass gang of hoodlum kids, so maybe that's not what they are. So you've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. 
Take it you know how to handle yourself? I don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. I can't imagine what that must have been like. You sound surprised. Like you think I can't handle myself. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Sorry, didn't mean it to come off that way. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. This is weird being around people Clem's age. She's only met a couple in, in the past and they've all died. Duck, Sarah, that other kid. Yeah. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? A new person. You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses, and a good location too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We've carved ourselves the perfect camp. Kids are safe here. We make sure of it. No adults. At all. I don't buy this. It's always like this, though. People leave. They die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. I was pretty good as a kid before everything changed. Made a lot of trouble since then. We all had to grow up fast. I'd say that goes double for your boy. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Well, he's Yo! dependent. Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. You Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie. Where's your damn weapon? Hmm. I don't buy that there's not some shady adult behind all this. I don't... How, how much... Hmm... It sounds like they've just been kind of lucky hiding out in the middle of nowhere. I just think Clem's the Follow seasoned the vet of this Check. group. And I think there's going to come a time maybe in the next 20 minutes or so when bandits attack and we're going to be the only one that knows what to do. <laughs> Fine, AJ. Okay, hang on. I want to look around a little bit first. Look at clutter. Hmm, can't go this way. Oh, that's Where's all you got to say. Where's music coming from? Come on, man. I just wanted to, like, see if there's anything useful there. Pocket some sh uh, some stuff. Fuck. Ah, you little motherfucker. Hey. Hey. Uh, that time you woke up, your little boy just bit me. He's lucky I didn't take a boot to his head. Nearly took a chunk out of me. God, it hurts him fierce. I'm so sorry. He acts out sometimes. He's been through a lot. Yeah, well, ain't we all? Don't see any of us sinking our teeth into either of you. The boy needs to learn some respect. Yeah, he's also way younger than you, and he hasn't been around other kids. He hasn't been socialized. Get a grip. AJ probably heard that. He's always listening, as it says. How old's this guy? He's not an adult. Clem! You're okay. That 
was afraid you were. Don't worry about me. I'm not going anywhere. Not anytime soon. But well, I don't want to say all that. AJ, listen to me. Cause... That girl out there says you bit her. Is that true? I'm sure she didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry, AJ. She snuck up on me. I didn't want to hurt her. I know you didn't, but no more bites, okay? No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. Watch your kid for you. My name is AJ. Mm. Excuse me. I watched AJ for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, not no problem. He was a bit of a handful. He's standing right there. I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. Yeah, we've all heard about AJ the bite. He doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. <laughs> Loud and clear, little man. <laughs> Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Lewis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Oh. Don't worry, I've got it. Let me go get it. that hat um double um does he know what that is it's dirty clean it maybe later back you go where it belongs dude that can't be a good idea that thing's bigger than him is it actually loaded yes oh good I'll guarantee he's a better shot than you hey you guys do your thing, I guess. That is... Hmm, that you gun might be a problem. Others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. What? Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry. Clementine, light she was and like a fairy. I just had to say and anything. Her shoes were number nine. Herring boxes without topses. Sandals were for Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. <laughs> loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Man, he's so like Come on. zombie mindset. This Give one, it a try. Right here. Come on, do it. Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Do it. Maybe he likes music. He hasn't had the chance to experiment and find out. Just been like, oh, I'm hungry. Kill the monsters. Oh, I'm hungry. Now press this one. And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Good job pressing the keys. Hey. You seen Rosie? Nope. <laughs> Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. You know what I hate about all this? I know at the end of this, either Clementine or AJ is going to die. And it's probably going to be a result of my choices. Oh, my God. Hey, Rosie! They're going to the try to make me cry. You That's the whole point. Back. Good. We're going to need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. 
Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash? Bye. What? Just saying. There's gotta be some explanation. I don't think we've met. I'm Clementine. Yeah, I know. Your kid won't stop talking about you. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what he said. Oh, shut up. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. What is that? Oh, oh. This? it's a chair leg. I call it Charles. Like Charles. Yeah, real funny, man. Clay, let me help. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. Mm. See you on the other side. AJ's AJ can take care of himself, man. I saw him the way he was acting in the car and stuff, and even before that. He's got this covered. At this point, the faster he grows up, the better. In terms of gaining experience. All right, let's do the EQ combo again. Yeah. Use a little more finesse, though. Double. Watch and learn. Hey, over here. Follow me. Well, you're gonna waste a trap. You're gonna waste yeah, a trap. That's how you school a walker. You should have saved that There's for a, a more dire situation. Around this area for these ass hats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. I don't want to use it on him, though. Oh, whatever. Apparently they have infinite rope, though. I'd rather not use the traps. I'm not gonna use it on him. We'll just do the tried and true stun kill. Save the traps for later. Looks like they made it back in one piece. Come on. Meet him halfway. Lewis should damn show off. Um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Both! Oh, I thought it was gonna get both! I thought they were both in range. Oh, what? So sad. <laughs> Gonna wait. <laughs> Gotta line him up. Gotta line him up. I'm too good. I'm too good. I know I just died, but Yo, over here. Yo. <laughs> nice timing. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. <gasps> no kidding. Where would all these walkers come from? We can is talk that a rabbit? back inside the gates. No. Keep an eye out for strikes. Look like rabbit feet. What is that? We got food. All right, Violet. I'm going to save your life. You're not half bad considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Okay. Piece of shit. Oh, I don't like this guy. I hate this cleanup bullshit. Stop! Save his life! Yeah! They're gonna kill the dog. They introduced the dog. They're gonna kill it. It's a nice dog. 
Good girl. Shh, shh, hey, hey. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Dog's gonna die. Hey, Calling so it now. You and Rosie are making friends. Oh. Had a bad experience with the dog once. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. So ingesting the walker blood in her mouth doesn't turn her into a zombie dog? Nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking starving. You're not the only one. Yeah, two more mouths to feed, buddy boy. Yeah, go out there. How do you think it went? Be nice, a sim. Safe stone's nearly dry. What's his name? We can barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. Talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Oh, alpha male power Still struggle. Standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Okay, Lewis. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. Yeah. I know. You're both delusional. <laughs> We're both delusional. I guess you gotta make your own entertainment somehow. Although you'd think piano would be enough. Apparently he's gotta rate everything. And I'm giving this one a 5 out of 10. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's <sighs> AJ! <sighs> oh, shit. Uh. Yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Everybody should know. Mm -hmm. A painful thing. He can't go around punching people in the... I don't want to expect him to eat at the same table. He's also really young. I'll talk to him. Younger than the rest of you. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. It's a scavenger. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Scavengers. Not scavengers. Scavengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Huh. Scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. I already forgot Marvin. his name. Oh, Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But, but I don't think they like me. He's good at surviving, but tell. not social skills. They don't. They just don't know you. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlon was really mad. It was that And that mad. girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Help AJ make friends! <laughs> Uh, it's like the game's shouting at me. All right, let's start with the toughest of the bunch. Ruby or whatever. Rosie. I don't know. There's that girl up in. Yeah. Want to talk to her? You mean say I'm sorry? Yeah. Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her you were scared. Tell her why you did it. 
Yeah, be honest. My thing. Yep, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. That's just how you react. That's how you've survived yes. the slot. I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just I just get scared and I'm sorry and I hope your finger is okay. Oh Shug, it's alright. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it! You sure did. What well, tells me what just happened? Ruby accepted AJ's apology. Yeah, I was there. I saw it happen. Can I talk to Ruby? Okay, well, what about the other ones? I mean, I'm glad you're having fun hanging out over here, but we gotta talk to some of the other kids. Like, uh, let's see, who's next? Is everybody over here? Ah, yeah, some of the other kids are over there. All right, let's talk to talk to Marlon and friend. <laughs> I'm not ready. Not ready for Marlon? Not yet. Okay, we'll do him last. Okay, let's talk to someone else. Okay, let's let's talk to Asim. Uh, Asim? I don't know. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt. Which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. Oh. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. Oh. AJ, give it back It to is me. his diary. Okay. Uh, Thank you. I bet he read it anyway. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does Sim write about the new girl in his little diary, huh? Okay, we've gotten the good ending for him and for Ruby. Let's go, let's go for the trifecta. Mm, yes, redolent of rosemary. Lewis and Friend. And hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Yeah, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Okay, I guess we'll eat later then. Uh, who are these guys? Mitch and Willie. Who's Mitch? Have we seen them yet? Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. <laughs> yeah. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> that little dude said fuck. Mitch and Willie think AJ is hilarious. <laughs> well, he's hit it off with all three so far. Yeah. Time to look around for some more people to introduce him to. I guess that's because I said fuck yeah or whatever earlier. Hey guys. Oh, he's scared of me. Knock it off, Tin. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. Well, he had his weapon out. It wasn't my fault. Ten. 
I really am sorry, really. I'm sorry too. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Oh, he probably thinks of Clem as like his sister or something. Paying respects. That's why he was taking care of us. Should we do that too? Maybe. I've never seen anyone do that. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. I'm glad they're not going to be like, don't do it. You didn't know them. Hopefully. Thank you. Yeah. They're grateful AJ paid his respects. Wow, we're just hitting it off with everybody so far. Everybody likes AJ. I got an achievement, social Clint? butterfly. Yeah, I'm ready. There are actual achievements for this thing? To talk to Marlin. Okay. Usually for Walking Dead games, for most Telltale games, they just give you automatic achievements that you just unlock as you play. They're unmissable. So that's weird. Okay. Now the toughest test Clementine, yet. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Hey, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earned your supper after all. Yeah, I fought for it. I assumed I was gonna eat here. I helped you guys out. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm. This is really good. <clears throat> <laughs> Come on. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, Lord. Enough. Thank you. <laughs> good. <laughs> good, 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 good. I was about to say. Good night, Ruby. Yeah, we fit in. I was like, okay, Lewis did it. Clem. So let's just go with the Sorry, ball. buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. Oh, it's because because he likes him. <sighs> I'm all done. Because he played piano with him. Mm-hmm. Me too. Growing kid, though. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Cards? Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What, Brody doesn't like cards? Yeah, good What's spy. Again tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. Oh, war, game cool. played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Mm. Get ready, losers, because it's time for you all to lose. Oh, shit. I like that. Yeah, trash Full talk. talk. That's uh -uh. right. True talk. You're talking to the Gwent champion of Witcher 3, it's all right? Easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. I know how to play war. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Oh, I'm glad. Come on. 
You can take your eyes off him for one card game. I like those two together. They both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. I mean, this is all, war is all luck, but I got a five. Well. Way to go, me. Yeah, way to go. So about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so what happened there? I don't know. Does AJ know that I'm not? They're dead. They were nice people. What does AJ know? I don't want to be most part. saying things that he doesn't know. It makes know. sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Oh, I win. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Borland's haircut. That's what's on everyone's <laughs> mind. Let's not, add, let's not do a downer. Grossest thing eaten. Okay, uh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? It's pretty easy, uh, horse eyeballs. Slugs. Cantaloupe. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate cantaloupe. I ate cantaloupe a guy's leg once. I'm kidding. Oh, I was about Are to say. You? I guess that was an undocumented one. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? What? Oh my god. Homeboy's what? going in. It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Nope. Oh, I'm never. sure she's really I haven't. surprised about that one. As far as I know. Never. Not even once. Never. Ha, <laughs> I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? Lee's really the only one. After that, I took care of myself. The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to let go? How to use a gun, he's gone, it doesn't matter. How to say goodbye. More poetic than how to, how to use a gun. Taught me how to shoot. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Met anyone famous? I feel like Marlon's haircut might be a little bit of a sensitive topic. Worst injury witness might be a little sensitive topic. So let's keep it light. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Waterbeds? Yeah, maybe. Nobody has waterbeds I met a guy who used anymore? to be a baseball player. Like, for money. Oh yeah, Javier. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Listen, I don't like baseball, but it doesn't suck. Wow, Violet didn't like that story. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? You're gonna take it there, huh? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, why am I timed here? Any one of you, but certainly not me. <laughs> so sure. Made it this far. So have we. I pissed off all of them. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Well, it's an unfair question anyway. Actually, so I don't care. never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Well, the last one wasn't fun either. Ever had to kill someone you loved? 
Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. I had to shoot Kenny. Yeah, my friend Kenny. What happened? What, like, led up to it? His heart broke and never put itself back together. Believe me, I did him a favor. They will remember that. Are they gonna read the receipts later? I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Later they're gonna be like, oh, you're gonna kill me like Let's you did again. Kenny? They're gonna throw it back in my face, because that's the only reason why Telltale ever asks you to choose anything, uh, is so they can throw it in your face later. Night, AJ. I'm glad those two are becoming friends. That's nice. <sighs> long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Sure. Just relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. I think that'd be good for AJ. He's got he's gotta get socialized somehow. <laughs> Listen to me talking about AJ like he's my kid or something. But it's good for him to be around other kids. Man, I'm hungry. But I can't eat until we're done with this episode. That looks like a really safe window. It does. Yeah. Good. But like, you know, at the same time, this is The Walking Dead. This box has so many colors. There's something they're not telling us. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. Are we roommates? I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh, what? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. <laughs> She's looking at me like It's okay, honestly. I can just come back and grab it later. He can use it for now. I'll let Ten know. Ten will be disappointed. Okay. Well. Huh. I see you're um, settling in. I want AJ to like live a little yeah, for a change. Is Relax. That okay. Sure. I guess. I always like this room. Sophie had like paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. What happened to Sophie? And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. What? <laughs> that was a joke. She had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. 
They went scavenging with Marlin and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Hmm. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. Is that why Marlin There's scaled back the so safe zone? Dudes. So they wouldn't find the bodies? This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh. Right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Violet will remember that. What? Like a like as a good thing? Not bad, kiddo. Cause she seemed like she was frowning at me. I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Weird. Okay. Okay, Alvin Jr. Time for bed. I'm sorry, but I'm just Okay. Here. I'm looking for stuff. Oh. For me? For the wall to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. He tried really hard. Hang AJ's drawing. How about here? Me protecting Clem. Collectibles can be found in the world to decorate your room. Uh, AJ? He's underneath the bed. Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here, too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge, and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? I know. What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? <sighs> I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me, and I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> Hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. Maybe he can stay under the bed now. I'll be okay. I promise. Like it's his first night. Just let him stay under the bed. He'll, he'll warm up to sleeping on the bed. He can stay okay, under there. Okay, okay. Let him, let him do what he wants to do. Don't here, force him into it. He'll head. resent it. You let wanna, me know if you get cold. You want to force him I into will. things. Let him, let him okay. ease into it. Good night, AJ. Clem? Yeah? I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah. Me too. And they lived happily ever after. Brrr. Wrong. I got an achievement called End of the Road, and there's a big one on it, so I don't know what that means. Is it the end of episode one? He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. It's about that time. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. When's something gonna go wrong? Tintu. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. He doesn't know what firefighters are. That one's a policeman. He doesn't know what policemen. She's gonna save the day. Policemen's, sorry. But what are they? They, these were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. You'll meet one someday. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. 
That would be cool. Super cool. No, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, oh no. Give it back. It's got a share. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Okay. Clem, please? No, no, no. It's Tens. Come on, man. It's mine. No, it's not. <sighs> Fine. Man, whenever I have kids, I imagine Thanks. the toughest thing to impart to Do them you know where is Marlin the concept is? of sharing. That's always what I, I see know. with kids. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Because it's like, even a smart kid can get Look. suddenly irrational when it comes to sharing. It's very strange. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Hello? Marlon? What? Stay back. Oh no. Wait, maybe I gotta stay on my ground. Maybe I gotta stay on my ground. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, 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 it's okay. Shh. Stay gone. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I was really scared sure you. that we were going to have to kill the dog. Do you trust me? Rosie. All right, all right. All right, all right. Let's play. Let's Ross, just not going to bite. Let's do it. <sighs> okay. I guess. We gotta get over. We gotta get to know the dog. I don't want anything bad to happen. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. Oh, it's just that easy, huh? <laughs> Have you ever met a dog? <laughs> That's so cool. See, not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. Well, she's got to recognize AJ she too. She's the headmaster's dog. I got an achievement. Back Good when girl. this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit. No. He bailed. We're gonna have to kill All the dog. The adults did. It's gonna be attacking AJ. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. The dog's gonna sneak up behind AJ. The He's gonna hit it. Plan for gathering food. It's gonna attack him. We're gonna have to kill the dog. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Fucking don't go here. Why is that? Is that where the uh, the bodies are, Marlin? Well, you killed those girls. Old shack. Hmm. Let's look at the hunting grounds. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. What's in the greenhouse, Marlin? What's the trap area? A hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but 
and took him down. That's good. Wanted this place to be hard to find. Good idea. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker to come by. Vine Brody should be heading up there in a bit. They're gonna die. They're not gonna make it back. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Well, that's too bad. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. You see these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. That... I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah? Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Let's hunt. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Big place. <laughs> Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Mmm. As long as we got enough to eat. Go get him, AJ. All right. We're all friends Let's now, but we'll see what goes on. See you around. What's he going to say? Well, AJ's not there. Oh. I thought he was going to be like, Clem, can I talk to you for a second? Um, We're kicking you guys out. <laughs> okay. I need characters to hate. I need characters to watch die and relish their death. That's what I need from this game. That's what's missing so far. So far, I like are everybody. Clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Is he always like this? Like this? You mean awesome? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> gotcha. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know. Don't sweat the technique. Okay. L a little wake-up call, buddy. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. I play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Sh shut up a second. How can they not hear that? It's deafening. 
Maybe Clem has heightened hearing, though, and we're just hearing through her heightened ears. Don't lose AJ. Oh. I can't waste a trap on you. Ah! Hey! Check this guy out! He's like a walker pinata. Okay. Don't mess around with him. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Okay. I didn't really deserve you that can tone. Starve. So dramatic. <laughs> you can starve. <laughs> Help Asim or Lewis? Uh AJ is kinda with Lewis, isn't he? Well, too bad. I'll go with us him. He's got the right idea. Let's do this. Come to hunt? I hear something rustling around in here. Eh, I'm here to help. Yeah, let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. Okay, this conflict. Well, I hope Lewis will take care of AJ. Although You're he knows how to take care of himself yeah. to a certain extent. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. Yeah, time to shoot. Here Last it goes. Last time I was out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. It was red. Yeah, don't worry about it. Better to save our arrows anyway. It was red. I saw some others run this way. Okay, I was about to say, don't let that be my only chance. Oh, I missed. Shit. There's such a pain in the ass to hit. Clem! Clem, come here! What, do I get two shots and that's it? It's probably an achievement, like, hit both rabbits. And I didn't get it. So now we don't have any food. Look, it got one. Oh. Cool. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why to get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Play the Are long you gonna game. Do it? I can't watch. Let's play the long game. Let's get a freaking rabbit. AJ won't forget that. Bye, bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight then? Well, we've been out for two seconds. Ah, uh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny either. God, we're all They'll on board with my choice. Months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? I guess this is it. I only had two chances. Hopefully next time there are more targets. What? And maybe some sharper aiming. Yeah, sorry. You shot- I shot twice! I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and well, see if we Well, yes, we're done with hunting fish. today. This isn't gonna be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Give me more than Follow two me. shots. The girls are probably near the shack. Man, I want to reload like that. Fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Can I reload? <laughs> I feel like I was misrepresented there. Whatever. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? I would hope so. Cause if it's not, that means that there are people. Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. 
Well. Good job, AJ. Get that gun out. Let's open it slowly. AJ noticed that. Yeah! It's clear. Notice me being careful? Not reckless? Kicking doors open? Taking names? Holy shit! This place is wrecked! All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. That's not good. Hold tight. <laughs> That's not good. Are we in danger? Maybe. <laughs> Clump's just like, I don't know. Probably. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Someone's got to have it. Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. Hmm. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. F fuck. Come on, come on. Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. Bye, Brody. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. I wonder if Marlon, Marlon made some kind of deal. We don't find food? Well, let's not find it's out. It's being reneged Where right now. Where else could we look? Maybe he made a deal with the nearby bandit gang or something. Where else can we find food? The train station? <laughs> I, I literally can't select anything else. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know. That's Your pretty far matters. outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Seriously. All right, fine. Lead the way. But it's outside the safe zone. Why were they outside the safe zone, though, like earlier when they picked us up? The oh, wait, they talked about that, didn't they? Because they heard the explosion or whatever. I think. What are you all still doing here? You should have dispersed by now. Zombie behavior is something there. that really puzzles me. A lot more walkers than last time, though. How are there more? We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. I mean, can't be too careful. I was here for like. 10 minutes before you guys showed up. That hmm. bell might be able to get the walker's attention. They right. do like to follow sound. Yeah, we could ring the bell, go around the back. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. I think we should ring the bell. I like the bell strategy. Could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. Yeah, that that doesn't do anything. You look like you got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. Lewis will remember that. I'll go with you. What? He'll remember Give me calling him Prince Charming? Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. Hmm. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck. Oh, this one. Hi. Hey, look. Got to know. Got to go. No. I'm just about to make you 
Got a straggler right here. I'm killing him right next to them. Oh, shoot! Where'd that one come from? You are dead. Alright, let's try it again. <sighs> hey, ugly. No, not you. Where did not where did that one come from? Yeah. Was it right here? Fine. But I thought I killed this one. Okay. See, there's this one, and there's nobody back here. Oh, oh, this one. Okay. Okay, just pick them off. That's good. I'll look close. No one will ready. <laughs> they all just turn around. What is he waiting for? Come on, come on. Fucking voice. Just give him a second. We may not have a second. <laughs> Why don't you just go over there in the first place? Okay, AJ, I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. Alright. Why'd Brody freak out? That kind of... Okay. This one's gonna get up. No! I wanted to preemptively stab, but she wouldn't do it. Oh my god, are there going to be consequences because we didn't kill them earlier? Yes, these will be perfect. Plim, look. That wasn't there last time? Try it out. See if it works. Oh. Cool. Turn it off. Oh. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. Are they all broken? You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> so the light doesn't attract them? Because I would imagine if they saw the light. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Is it just rice? What's going to happen here? It's going to be a feast, is what she says. It's going to show a zombie right there at some point. Why are they- why are they doing this? Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. It's that rolled cigarette. I don't have to. What do you want? I just want food. Same reason you're here. All right, want to be Bill Murray. You your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got 
extra lucky. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Everyone Count wants to you, know about the two outside. I'm thinking maybe more. Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. Well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. You wouldn't let a hey. man starve now, would you? Kid, I don't want to do this. I'm attacking him. Get down! You piece of shit! Fill it up. Yeah, I know it said AJ won't forget that. But I'm not gonna let him shoot AJ. It's a tough situation. I hate that the game is like, AJ learned some sort of moral lesson from that tough decision you had to make which there were arguments to be made about each choice. What happened in there? Just move. I'll tell you on the way. Yeah, whatever. I pushed him. Who cares? He pointed a gun at a kid and tried to rob them of food. And he took all the food out of their traps because it's the same rolled cigarette. So, fuck him. I know they tried to make him like a little bit sympathetic, like, oh, he's just by himself and... Uh, he's not by himself, by the way. You are not listening to me, Marlon. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. And I figured if he is with a group, it's better for him to be eaten by zombies than have a bullet in him from AJ. Take y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sam, Mitch. Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Aww. Like, seriously, it's a lot. It was a team effort. It was a team effort. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. <laughs> Where did you find all this? The old train station. I don't like Brody. Where it was. Train station, that's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty ass Bible cigarettes. Oh, she knows. He had there's weird, a deal. Different colored eyes. I bet there's a deal. And we just we just screwed it up. Did he follow you? Nope. Dead. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It Which was means awesome. he's a zombie now. Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. What do you know? You attacked him? What the fuck? He was pointing if he a survived, gun. You know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? Okay, I don't like you. <sighs> this is fucked. If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Yeah. Bullshit. What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! Can you use your big girl words. 
She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Fuck off, Brody. Let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Oh, fuck off. What have you ever done? You showed up to the fishing cabin and were like, eh, I'm having a little uh, moment Come. of anxiety. And then you ran back. Then you I yelled at me I just now. You, for help. you haven't done anything. You did. You did. But. Shit. God. Nothing's easy. It was risky, but it was worth it. Like you said, we can't lose another kid. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. There's some there's some deal going on like that's their land and then like there's some local Don't sweat it, gang that doesn't mess with them. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. You know what? I bet Sophie and what's her butt? I bet they aren't dead. I think I'll go too. See you later. I bet you an exchange happened. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. As part of the deal. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. They're not dead, dude. I think it's starting to get to people. Unless you did actually Doesn't bury them. to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. I don't know what to say about that. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess that doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. <laughs> we'll All go anywhere away after we die. I'll just. Oh, I want. I wish I had more colors. I wanted to click the. It looks like a nice place. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. Hmm. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. No. Draw her. Okay. Ah, because I was thinking, I was thinking like, what if oh, the other group finds forgot. it, and that other dude actually survives? Ooh. And he's like, "That's her." Here you go. I'm thinking way far ahead. Sorry. It's yours. It's ours. Ten's got some real talent. It's getting late. I don't know. I'm paranoid yeah. now. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Got an achievement. I guess that was, uh, act two. Yeah, I'm really paranoid about everything now because it's like... That dude... 
there has to be some other group that they have a deal with, and that's that explains why Marlin and Brody are acting all stressed out, but they can't say anything. It's clear. Oh. Time for bed, little guy. He has to say it's Can clear stay up? before going in nope. his own room. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You got in bed by yourself. I like it here. Oh. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. <laughs> it's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. It's good for now, but places change, so do people. It might not stay good. He should know. Don't worry, we're not leaving. Yeah, he should there, know that. You gotta stay up two minutes more. There's a possibility. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. I can now place collectibles. Do I have any collectibles? Oh, Ten's drawing. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. Hmm. Let's look at AJ's drawing. So cute. Aww. Okay, well, yeah, let's, uh... Look at backpacks. So used to lugging this everywhere. Yeah, what's even Never in there? Knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. Kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn this out. Go to sleep, back out. Go to sleep. There's something else to do, right? Good night, sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. Arguing in the middle of the night. What's going on? I'm gonna sit up. What's going on? What's that? Shh. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. You Is it can't us? do this. No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. He doesn't know about, like, dealing with non-monsters. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. And it's got one bullet in it. Because he didn't waste Stay one. Stay safe. On that dude. Okay. <laughs> what did this turn to a horror game? <laughs> Sounds like it's over here. The basement? Basement. 
This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. It sounds like Marlon and Brody, but I don't know. According to the map, there should be another entrance to the basement around here. Find the cellar door. I don't know, man. I mean, I would think it's this way, right? Oh, come on, man. You are the only act of coming. What are you doing? You are. You are. You are. You are. Just put your ear to it. You are evil. You fucking coward. Hey, hey. We are in this together. Hmm. What, am I gonna break the padlock? Break the lock. This is kind of a loud entrance, don't you think? Heavy. Yeah, thanks a lot. What poor intern did you guys make write that telltale? They definitely heard that. It's not gonna be a surprise. Things are about to go from zero to a hundred, I guarantee it. Like they always do. Terribly. You don't even know for sure what's that. Also said he got bit. Which means he ain't gonna bother us. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You know, know that shit! Nothing to you! There you go again, getting so mad! What do you want me to do? You're making me mad! Now we have to tell the others about what you did! Yeah. Who's there? I fucking called Show it. yourself! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clint. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. I knew it! Him and his people. I called Brody. it. Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. But they're not. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed hey, of what- Shut up! Hmm. Uh, what'd you say? I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. So, so. You got me okay. Promise. She's God dead. God damn it! Help! She's dead, dude. I told you not to say it. Please be okay. Get away from her. Come on, Marie, come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back. Okay. Okay. Just, just, just 
Stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. Yeah. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. And he's not. If those raiders come back, said he'd let him take you. Mm. Take us? Mm -hmm. To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Brody. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Force it in there and lift up the latch. Something really thin. Can't find anything in this dark. Well, there's a flashlight, Clem. Come yes, on. Flashlight. That'll help. Smarter than this. Find the flashlight. Well, it's it, he dropped it right by the thing. I'm guessing it's where this light is coming from. This is... What's all that noise? What, already? Zombie Brody. Is that a... Yes, this will work. <laughs> Ruler. Thin enough. Jeez, this is like kind of horror. A little bit. It's like, who's gonna believe that I didn't kill her? Marlin or me? You know, who are they gonna believe? They're gonna believe Marlin. So we're gonna get kicked out here, I bet. We're gonna be on the road again by the end of the episode. I hope not, because I want, like, this storyline to continue a bit. Where's AJ? 
Put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me! Where is she? she she's in the basement. That she dog. murdered Brody. What? Is that blood on your face? Oh. Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us. Guns being pulled and murder. Well, fuck them. Fuck, Marlin. Jesus Christ. You shoot me, and what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? He won't do it, yeah. because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was going to give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine. Let her talk. Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her. Come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. The first thing she did was attack you, Ten. I knew it. They're throwing it in my face. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? For me! Your friend! She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take Appeal it? Appeal to Lewis or I'm just Violet. saying. Man, this is fucked up. But you have to believe me. I think she's more likely. Come on. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! Don't let her get in your head. Hey, I knew what you do. She was my friend, too. So is Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you too. Violet being I knew it. difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. There we go. There we go. I figured it'd be hard to get Lewis. You don't get it. That dog, though, I'm worried. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone. Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. They came back. I do it again. Excuse me? He I didn't realize it. they were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. 
Eh, I'll just stay silent. Oh, shit. I know. I know. I wanted to get them. States. Some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted. I just couldn't. I was... I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. The Nerva. I don't know what to say here. I want to hurt Go them. for the gun. <laughs> Marla won't forget that. Well, good. He's unstable. I had to get it. Yeah. I had to disarm him. He's like standing there crying. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, she kicked his ass. Look, this isn't hopeless. We can fix this. You already beat me. You don't have to lie to me, too. Hey, I didn't know what to say there. I didn't like any of those options. You win. I can't. <laughs> no! 52% killed the walker couple. Oh, 52% of people were wrong. Nice. <laughs> 44% went hunting. 56% went fishing with Violet and Brody. Oh wow, 50-50. Sleep under the bed. Sleep on the bed. Too bad that choice didn't affect anything. 61% attacked him instead of giving him food. 39% surrendered food Sometimes to Abel. 58% of players Sometimes turned to Violet for help against Marlin. 42 went for Lewis for help against Marlin. And that's it, huh? Marlin, dead. Marlin was enraged when he found him in the courtyard. He felt proud when he trusted him with Rosie. <laughs> well, one time friends, I had AJ was ride. resolved. You, I even had a you and 25% left AJ hardened? He beat her with I'm sorry, he's hardened? Time. How? She told him to take care of me. She headed down to Tennessee. Why, because I let him sleep under the bed? Well, it's easier and, and I attacked Abel? To die. So that's all it takes to make him hardened. Not all the other stuff. What about stuff like me opening the door slowly instead of kicking it open? Or like... Uh, Tim was... <laughs> you and 18% left Tim feeling powerless. Why, because I attacked him? That's really all that happened here. I generously gifted, or sorry, when I allowed him to draw me, he gifted me the drawing. That sounds like a positive thing. He was frightened when you attacked him. I didn't attack him. I, 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 I meant to just disarm him. It was like the moderate option of the three. I left him feeling powerless. I was oppressive towards ten, apparently. We robbed a man and brother. Did we Brody, dead. She was appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. With oh, well, now she's dead. So who cares what she thinks? 
You and 58% left Violet feeling guilty. She was pleased after you complimented her fighting skills. I can't believe that that's on here. Violet was flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. Those sound like good things. Why would she feel guilty? Oh, oh, like guilty about staying silent is what they mean. You and 58% left Lewis feeling heartbroken. <laughs> you felt lonely when you chose to hunt rabbits with Asim. Yeah, well, what was he doing? Nothing productive. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. Okay. Now I'm out of prison and I got Omar, what's well, glad you checked in on him before dinner? That's the only interaction we had with him. Ruby was and disgusted when you encouraged AJ's bad cold. manners. <laughs> Mitch was happy to show off his weaponry skills to you. You learned how to bond with Rosie with Marlon's help. Asim appreciated that you helped him hunt rabbits. Well, even though I missed both of them, Willie was fascinated by you when you met him for the first time. I collected three of six items during the episode. Oh, were there three other ones? Whatever. Preview of the next episode. Let's go. Chop, chop. Give me the preview. You better do the preview. No preview? I guess they're not doing that this time. Episode one, done running. Let's take a look at the other ones. Suffer the children. There's only four episodes? Episode three, broken toys. Episode four, take us back. Huh. Okay, well, uh, that was The Walking Dead Final Season Episode 1. Gotta say, glad that this series is drawing to a close. I didn't mind this episode. I didn't think it was awesome. I thought it was fine. I like AJ. I think this is how you- this is how you do... Um... The Lee-Clementine dynamic without doing the Lee-Clementine dynamic again. Gabe was so annoying in New Frontier in Season 3, so... After that, I was like, you know what? I don't ever want to have to be responsible for, like, a little shit ever again in these games. And AJ's not a little shit. I am surprised that he shot him at the end. I felt like I was making choices that were, like, cautious, but fair. You know? Like, I didn't think that I was making hardened choices. The only thing that I did that was violent was I sh I shoved stay uh, Abel out of the window. I figured if I said, share him, AJ, that would have been more hardening. But I felt like I was just being practical most of the time. It's like, you know, like I said, open the door slowly instead of kicking it in. You know, respect the people's wishes with the keys. I didn't kill them. Instead, I sent him into the... I mean, I guess that's not really a practical choice, but it's like more of a respectful. I feel like I was practical and respectful in most of my decisions that he observed and said, AJ won't forget that. And then at the end, it's like, AJ was hardened. I don't really understand how we get to that point. But whatever. It's like, one of the things that disappoints me about Telltale Games is that you think it's a lot of little things that add up to a result, but it feels like it's like two things. It's like two check boxes that are either checked or they're not, and that gives the result. So it's like, was it the two things that it had on there? It was like, I, I let him sleep under the bed, so that's one hardened point. And then number two, I shoved Abel out the window, so that's two hardened points, so now he's hardened, and the rest of it don't matter. There's no, like, negative points or, like, mini points, like... I feel like it's just too simple sometimes. And it, and it leaves me feeling a little, uh... dissatisfied at the end of these things, when I'm like... I don't understand how I got that result when I was making these decisions, you know? Like with Violet. I don't understand why at first she was like, Ugh, Clem, I don't know you. I mean, maybe that was scripted, but... You know, I complimented her battle style and said she would remember that. I talked with her before and I left flowers on the grave 
paid my respects to Tan sisters and said that she liked that. I said, you know, I sympathized with her in the dorm. It said she would remember that. But it's like, does that, does me not going to the freaking fishing cabin with her negate all of that or? I don't know. Cause it didn't see, it seemed like she was very reluctant. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's just how she is no matter what you do. And then you have to convince her with the second one. But I felt like I went hard on, on Violet and it was still up in the air at the end, you know? Lewis, there's no way. Cause I, I knew I, I left him at the hunting site and he's also best friends with Marlon. It's just not going to happen. So I don't think that would have come, anything would have come from that. But who knows, maybe Lewis would have turned against Marlon too. I wonder if AJ shoots him no matter what. I'll have to find out, because that's a great way to end the episode, just narrative wise. But if this is something only 18% of players got, I wonder what the rest of it was. I'm sure someone else shoots Marlin. I bet Marlin, Marlin has to be dead no matter what. I'll look up the endings to this episode though, because I'm curious. But it, I Telltale, from what I've known about them, they haven't been ones to let a path branch off for too long. Like in season two, I remember I I think I let this guy Nick uh, live through like three different instances where he could have died, and then. They, they were just like, all right, we're tired of having this guy around. So they killed him off, <laughs> like, uncontrollably. Nothing you could do. I think we found his zombie body somewhere. Uh, so they don't they don't like to branch for too long. It's like Doug and Carly in the first game. Yeah, like, yeah, it branches, but then they both die pretty soon afterwards. So since Marlin is potentially dead here, you know that he's going to die later anyway, even if AJ doesn't shoot him. Kind of annoying that that's how it has to be. I will say one thoroughly positive thing I have to say is I love the behind the back third person camera angle. It actually gave the game like a different atmosphere. I was surprised. I didn't think it would have that much of an effect, but like when you're when you're in the basement with the flashlight and stuff and you're hearing the noises, it's pretty effective. And when it first happens when you're with AJ and you're investigating, like it's the same, it's the same gameplay in essence, but the presentation is much improved. And it's like, Telltale did something different, what? So that's that was cool. I was happy to see that. And of course I'll play episode two whenever it comes out in a few months or something, December, November, whenever it is. But let me know what you guys thought about Walking Dead final season episode one in the comments and about this video in general. Uh, but if you don't like my choices, I don't give a shit. So just remember that part. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.